Alright. If uh Dark and Frost is coming. I think there's a few sergeants from BCSO are somewhat meant to be here but aren't. Tommy's not on duty today. Alright, Hudson kick us off. I should say I got ambushed uh, while at a traffic stop about three, four weeks ago at the Grapeseed LTD uh, while uh, I was on a traffic stop with a not connected individual. Uh, what were the details on the vehicle? Uh, it wasn't a vehicle, it came from the, uh, LTD. Okay. And they, uh, believe Sergeant Frost was inside. They were giving the, uh, the clerk some lip. Uh, they went outside the store, started shooting. Myself and Sergeant Frost took care of them all. <coughs> I got transported to Pillbox Medical. Uh, I believe all uh, suspects were either DOA or have been arrested by B Shift. Okay, not to worry then. Um, <clears throat> I got nothing else. Okay, Hudson, did you say you had something or not really? No, not really. Okay, um, only thing from myself, and this is to all departments, including LSPD, who aren't with, a, with us here tonight, um, just please keep uh, an eye out on paperwork, please, guys, because um, there has been... Uh, it has been noted that the paper trails, um, when we're filling out incident reports or arrest reports, any sort of citations, is starting to... Uh, <coughs> is starting to get a little bit lax um it's not of a major issue at the moment but we're trying to get things set in place sooner rather than later to make sure it doesn't get any uh any more lax basically um <clears throat> so please keep an eye out on your paper trail if it's something that's a little bit more um intense like an investigation and such um obviously try and keep notes written down um either on a separate laptop or something like that, where you can transfer over into the investigation report uh, as and when needed. Uh, obviously, on the if it is an investigation report as well, uh, take a note of obviously what number you have for the report, just then you can reference back to it um, whenever you need to. Other than that, I've got nothing else. I'll hand it over to anyone else on the floor, in this case, Sam. Is there anything from you? Um... <laughs> Only thing is, there's just been a couple of shootings, as you mentioned. There was one in um, Los Santos, I believe it was last week. Um, I don't know the full details on that, but I know it happened. Okay. Um, there's also been an individual running around with a pepper ball gun that I know G's aware of, but I wanted to raise the question of legality with that on you. Like, how do we deal with a pepper ball gun? This is not something standard. Um, is it treated the same as a taser? Or yeah, I mean, pepper what do we do in terms of licensing and stuff? <sighs> Nothing really in terms of licensing. Okay. Um, however, obviously, if they do raise a pepper ball gun at us, AP shotguns, tasers, any sort of non lethal force, um, including baton strikes if needed or hand to hand, that's perfectly fine, guys. Um, my recommendation would just go straight for the AP shotgun and fold them over with it because they're not going to get up from one of those. <clears throat> the, only, the only thing to be aware is having seen the pepper ball gun a couple of times, I've not been able to distinguish it from a standard firearm. That's not... I like to... That's just, not... No. Go on, Jay. It's uh, going to be uh, Sergeant Frost's daughter, Ava Azrael. Right. Irrespective, irrespective of that, officer safety comes paramount. So... If you suspect it, if it's easily identifiable as a pepper ball gun, brilliant. If it's not, treat it as a live firearm, um, irrespective. It's 
the person who's running around with it should have the responsibility and the common sense to know that if they get light, a firearm pointed at them from LEO and they're told to put their hands up to drop a pepper ball gun of all things, that's not going to be held on us. But if we know that Ava is the person in question, obviously exercise caution with it <clears throat> initially. If you need to do something like escalate at first and then de-escalate it, so in terms of maybe use use felony traffic stop tactics on her and then de-escalate it from there, fair enough. If she becomes resistive, obviously make sure you're in there quick and aggressively and then bring it back down. Um, but in terms of whether, you know, she raises a firearm at us, if we suspect it not to be a pepper ball gun, then I would say treat it as a live firearm, guys. Um, I would also say we make Sergeant Frost aware of the situation and ensure that he does obviously keep tabs on Ava's whereabouts and also the Pepper Ball Gun's whereabouts as best he possibly can too. He is fully aware that she has it. Okay. Well, the duty of care and responsibility will also lie with the him then as her legal guardian. Yep. Anything else from anyone else? Oh, sorry, go on, Hudson. Yeah, so it's deal with as we come across it. Yeah. No, that's fine. Um, I've got nothing further for the floor, but can I have a, just something quick with you, Hudson, after we're done? Told you I'd not give you my autograph. <laughs> he doesn't want your autograph, he wants your OnlyFans. Hey, what? Don't tell him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Said your hair looks nice. Uh, right, so what we got available resources for this evening proactive task force unmarked uh i'm etsu i got unmarked at the minute but i can grab something else if needed uh, okay l2 uh well we really don't have anything special other than the uh, off-road capability with uh our uh uh yeah our latest Purchase. Yeah. Oh, what your Riata? And unmarked. Yeah, the well, Riata or. Yeah, what are you driving tonight? Uh, Crown Vic or Al uh, Standard. Marked or unmarked? Marked. Cool. That'll be. Now so, I... be sure, so you got SRT standby, I believe both. Thomas and Sean there. Yeah. Frost are uh, on call as well in the event any major situation comes up. And I got my SUB gear in the uh, trunk. Yeah, I got my all, all my gear in my scout. Also got Squeaky 2 on standby up in Sandy should any major situations arise. Oh yeah, what is the AOP for tonight? Is it what you put? So between Olympic Joshua, and Sandy? Yeah, it's modified. Yeah. Cool. East Joshua down to Olympic. Happy with that. Plus Sandy. Plus Sandy. Plus Sandy. Happy okay. days. Speaking of which, I can get out of the city before I get killed. Have fun, everyone. Don't get blown up. Don't get stabbed. Don't get shot. Don't get tased. Have fun. Don't get... Yeah. That's good. Don't add to the population. Don't subtract from the population. Yada, yada, yada. Especially you. Hey! <laughs> okay. Alright guys, welcome to another patrol with DPS RP.
Incoming 911. Uh, all right. New dispatch, 7063, West Eclipse Boulevard forward slash portal DR, 7063. Dispatch, minute 31 being out. Charlie 1, I'm going to be 1041, 108, 1095. Active, proactive task force, supervisor, active supervisor for the Blaine County and Los Santos County area. I'll also be en route to that, last 911. Call sign's going to be Papa Charlie 1. I don't, I don't know what to do. I, I was just taking down the wall. Okay. Sorry. It's uh, over here. Alright, mate. Oh, okay. Hang on. I was just trying to do the job. No, you're fine, mate. You're fine. Take it easy. Up Charlie One, can I get um, another unit to this instant, please? I, 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 I didn't see it. It's just. I don't even to on our rack. Can I get? I, I don't even think that's the right wall. They just, they just told me to do a wall around here. Sorry. All right, mate. Don't worry about it. Um. Don't worry, yeah, half, mate. What's your, what's your name, please, real quick? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Lewis Ham. Okay. Just spell no, e w i s. Okay. Sit here. Type for a second, Lars. Oh, all right. Fire department. In there, Briggs. Body's still warm. Give me a sec. Okay. Can Just I please just go outside? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, can. Charlie 1 to Tango Charlie 21, be advised I got uh, one Lewis Ham coming out to you. I'm not getting a pulse back, mate. You alright? Now I'm gonna go get that guy's statement real quick. Yeah, yeah, I'll just see if I can find one. Go on, sir, talk to me. What's up? I, I don't know, I was just... They, they called me in here and they said that they were going away. And, you know, they wanted me to do all the work while they were away. And, you know, they told me to get down this one wall and put a, put a marble feature in. But, uh, you know, as I took it down, you know the, the hammers. The hammers slipped through, and I felt it. You know, I felt it hit something. Um, but it was just meant to be drywall. There's nothing meant to be behind it. And you know, I, I opened it up, and you know, the, the you know the body was it was there. All right, mate. What's uh, what's the uh, name of the client that you are doing the work for? <laughs> James Downing. Um, you know, I think he's I think he's going out the city. Okay. Alright, let me do a lock up. <clears throat> I just didn't expect it. 
Yeah, no, you wouldn't. Alright, okay. There's nothing coming back on him. I got here, you know, That's not like seven o'clock this morning. And everything was going fine. Everything was sorted out, um, you know. And then I started my work, and then, you know, it all changed straight away. You know. Okay. Right. How have you managed to get that that wound to your head, mate? That, no, that, that's that's not mine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Thank you very much. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not that thirsty. Alright. Alright. Do you know, have you worked with this client before, have you? No, no, he, he, he's a first, but, you know, he, he, he said that he was going to pay me in large amounts, so, you know, I thought, you know, how great's this? Yeah. You know, I could finally pay off my debts and. You know, I didn't, I didn't realise that, you know, what was, what I was gonna find. Okay, give me two seconds. Sir. Okay, so Check on brakes. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Alright, when did you when did you start work today then on the house? Less, less than an hour ago. Okay. I got it for seven o'clock and then I had to unload and stuff like that. Okay. Seven o'clock, yeah. Yeah, around that time. All right. What's your name, please, mate? Uh, Lewis Ham, spell L E W I S. Yeah, that's so. For a living, Lewis, obviously, I yeah, get I'm, I'm, a, I'm a con but... construction worker. Yeah, I'm a joiner. Okay. Is this company you're working for? Temporarily, yeah. Okay. So has your boss given you this contract then or have you picked it up um, by your own by your own uh, work as such or by your own methods? 
What, 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 what was that again? Sorry, so have you have you picked this work up through your boss telling you to do this job or have you picked this work up through your own methods as like, self-employed um, or something? My, yeah, my own methods. Like, I work with them as a company, but, you know, we go out and, you know, we get, you know, if people call us, we go out and do it and we pick the jobs that we want to do. Okay, so and, what's you know, the I case seen, for this job? Uh, the, the pay. The pay was incredible. No, 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 but have you picked it up through your own methods or has your boss given it to you? Uh, I, I picked it up. Okay. I am doing a contract for the And were the residents known to you before you picked up this contract, or did you get to know them through picking up the contract? Uh, I, I, I got to know them through picking it up. I didn't didn't know them too okay. well, but you didn't know them too well, but um, you know, I, I, I knew you know where they were heading and you know stuff like that. So you were aware that they were going to be heading out of town for a while, yeah? Yeah, which, you know, it's quite common within construction. You know, most people yeah. don't want to be in the house with all the noise and, you know. No, absolutely. And what, um, Asher, give me one sec. And who did the was is it multiple residents or just one resident that you know of? Um, well, I mean, I've heard of you know I've heard of him that there's a couple of them, but personally met you know only the one. Okay. Which yeah, I only met him, but he told me about you know family and stuff like that. What did you say you know him as, or what's his name? I think it was James Downing. What What did you say he told you his name was? Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> you alright there, Lewis? Yeah, yeah, I'm just... I'm just, I'm just in brain trouble. And my brain's gone blank. Yeah, no, you're all right. But probably just a shock setting in, mate. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was just straight off the top of my head. You know, it was just. Brand Say again, sorry. Brandon Cooper. Brandon Cooper. Okay. All right, interesting. Tell me about the work that they've contracted you to do, Lewis. So, they said that they wanted a marble wall fitted. Um, and then, you know, as you go where, where the body was found, you know, they wanted that marble wall there. Uh, and, you know, yeah. they told me, you know, where everything wanted to be and how they wanted it. And, you know, it, I, I did it, so. Yep, no worries. And this was pre-arranged before taking on the work, yeah? Sorry, what was that? This is all pre-arranged before taking on the work, yeah. Pricing, planning, everything like that. Yeah, yeah, you can say that, you know, he kind of just said he wanted it doing. Is how much he's going to pay when he wants to do it? I didn't really get to say anything and, you know. Okay. 
range prior to the work commencing. Okay, so then tell me, so from the rundown of today, how's your, how's it gone from today then? So, what time did you say what, you what arrived the work? at the property? Seven, seven o'clock this morning. Okay. at 0700, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you've, you've arrived at the property at no, 0700? No, 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 oh, oh, oh. 0700, yes. So, you've arrived, what, what time have you arrived? Oh, oh, 0700, I thought you said oh, 0600 for a second. Okay, no, you're, you're alright. Go ahead, Hudson. You haven't sent any on-march units off to the Blaine County area, have you? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> okay, so you arrived at the property at O700. Tell me how it, uh... Tell me how your day's gone from there, once you start, once you've arrived. Well, you know, uh, apparently I was assigned to somebody else, but, you know, they didn't, they didn't show up. So there was meant to be someone else with me. But I, I don't know, he kind of was a no-show. Um, and, you know, he's kind of, I don't know, he just didn't show up. And, you know, so I thought, I can't really wait around, I've got a job to do. So, you know, I, I started doing my job and, yeah, it's, it's just, that's when I found it. You know, it's just... I don't, I don't actually know where, where he was and, you know, it was a bit, yeah. Okay. So, uh, you've decided to start work without him. Um, what, how long did you wait for him before you decided to, uh, start without him? Well, I, I was meant to be picking him up beforehand. He was meant to be coming with me, and you know, I waited outside of his house, and it, it, you know, he just didn't come out. So I thought, you know, what I'm going to go, and this was at half six in the morning. Uh, no, I was beeping the horn, and he didn't didn't come out. So. Okay, what time were you supposed to be picking him up at? Um, oh six one, uh, oh six thirty. Okay. And how long did you wait for him? Um, a good five, ten minutes. Do you not have his phone number then, now? No, no, I didn't. I didn't really know the guy that well. I would just give it a name and then, you know work where he is and where yeah. I can find him. Gotcha. Okay. Two. Give me two sucks. But no, that's, that's fine. What's up, Sam? Uh, I don't know the, way best, the best way to say this. How long did he say he'd been here? Uh, he arrived on the property at 7 a.m. So, how long ago is that, do we reckon? Two and a half hours now. Two and a half hours, right. Fire reckons the body's been dead less than an hour, and that drywall looks like it's been drying for, what, 20 minutes? Right, okay. Like, go, go inside, it's wet. Like, Is it? Yeah, go look. All right. I'll keep an eye on him if you want to go look. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll carry on getting his witness statement, but if you want to start getting evidence from inside for me, and then, yeah, go yeah. from there. Have we got an investigation here? Um, I, I just, I just uh, need to grab something. Moment. Something. I just, I'm just going to go well, grab something. Hang on, Lewis. Stay out here for a minute. Lewis. Lewis, just stay out here for a sec. 
I'm not gonna let you take me. Lewis, put the hammer I'm down. I'm not Luke. gonna let you take me. Lewis, put the hammer down, mate. Drop the hammer. Listen. Lewis. Listen, I'm I'm not gonna let you take me. Okay? I, I've been there. Yeah, Lewis, no one's saying you've done anything yet. I still need to get your statement for fuck's sake. No, but he, no, but he he knows. Who knows? He he, he he's you know he he speaks to me. He's he's telling me that you, you you're gonna take me away. Right, who's talking to you right now? Are you on the phone I, to I, someone I or? No, no, I don't, I don't know. I just hear Incoming him. Coming nine one one. Right, okay. Ten games, three, five, four, Lewis, listen to me. Delayed, nine, one. Right, I get it that your conscience can play a part in this and you're probably in a lot of shock okay, right now but you need to listen to me and drop the hammer down because if you go this path there the is going to be another there's going to be a, a whole slew of consequences to this i, I can't do that he's, he's saying he's going to do bad things Lewis, with... i'm not going to tell you again mate all right i'm trying to give you an he's option out of this all right at, the, at this point in time if you listen to whoever's telling you what or whatever your mind is telling you, right? That is the wrong choice to make. But he's, he's telling me it's the right choice. Yeah, I'm telling you it's the wrong choice. Just listen to me. I've got more experience than whatever you know. Whatever you're telling yourself, all right? You're still in shock from discovering a body. I get it. Okay. But I need you, honestly. I need you to drop the hammer for me, okay? Because this ain't gonna go the way you think it is if you carry out what you're thinking of carrying out, right? Well, I mean, anyway, I take it's it's not mate, gonna end. It's not gonna end right. Mate, okay? I'm giving you the option for it to end out better. But it's not. Okay, right. I'm, I'm I'm at fault. Okay. Why are you at fault? I did it. Right. Why? Why have you? You're saying you you've killed someone. He uh, uh, told me to do it. Okay. Is that what you're telling me? It's he told me to do it. Who's told you to do it? The the voice. It, 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 it was the worker okay. that I was working with. Right, he, so that person in the wall is the person that you were supposed to be working with today, is that correct? Yes. He, right. He said that the voice he was gonna do bad things to me and he was Right. He was gonna do it before I killed him. Right, Lewis, do you have any sort of any psychological conditions I need to be made aware of? No. I've, uh, I've had it for a while, but I've never opened up about it. Okay. And it's just never been this here? bad. I've normally just ignored it. What? Right, what are we talking about here? Uh, I'm, I'm, just I'm a not voice too sure. in your head, or are you yeah. talking... Do you, do you have any sort of drug use that you use or anything no, like that? No, no, none of that, none of that. Right, okay. I've been, I've been to a couple of therapy lessons, but that was just, you know, for okay. marriage issues and stuff like that, and it's just, he's been around for a while now, right, and okay. Listen he gets to me. the best of me. Okay, listen to me. I don't want this to be a case where he gets the best of you today, Okay. You seem like a pretty hard working guy, everything like that. I'm telling you now, this path that you go down, you have one of two options, okay? Option one, if you try to attack us, you may potentially get shot, okay? You may potentially die, all right? That's it, end of your life. Option two, you come out, we come out of this peacefully, okay? You will have to face the music with the charges you've done. You can, cl you can claim mental capacity on it. Okay. And we can actually get you the help that you need. He, uh, he's saying I don't have a choice. He's saying he's going to kill me either way. No one's going to no one's gonna kill you. He's, right. he's, telling, me, he's right. telling me that Lewis, he is. He's, Lewis, he's saying Lewis, he's got power. Lewis, this is your choice. This is your choice, not anyone else's. Not, any, not anyone in your head, not mine, not my colleagues here. This is your choice. Which way is this going to go? Four hundred and oh, uh, be, uh, be honest with yourself and ask yourself, not anyone else, your not any voices in your head. Focus on yourself, and you tell you tell me which way this is gonna go. I, I can't. He's, he's too loud. Right, Lewis. 
I need he's shouting at me to do it. Right, of course he is. Right. Okay. Uh, Lewis, calm yourself, right, and try and tune him out. Uh, okay. No, I, I can't do it. Right. Can you, well, you can still hear me, so we can't be that loud. But he's there. Okay. I get it, he's there, but he's the at this moment in time, he's telling you to do things. You still haven't done it, so you still have control over yourself. Do you not? I don't, I don't, I don't even know anymore. Right, well, you clearly he do. He does this, he does this, because, you know, it's... Lewis, you clearly do, you know, because otherwise, th this would have ended a lot differently from what he's trying to tell he's doing, what hasn't happened yet, which, which is what he's trying that's to tell how, to do. That's how he works, that's how right. he works. He no, no, builds no, no, no. me up, it's not... No, focus... He's trying to wind you up, and you are not basically, you're basically not acting up to it, so you still have self control. You see what I'm saying here? You can drop the knife if you listen to yourself. Right? But what, but what if what? he doesn't go away? We can get you help to make him go away. That's what we do. Mm. We we have the resources and the contacts in place to help you out, right? It's your call, no one else's. Alright, nice one. Right, keep your hand keep your hands up and face the wall to your left for me, Lewis. Lewis, nice and easy. Just go ahead, face the wall to your left over there, mate. No. Yeah. There you go, nice and easy. So I'm on moving around. That uh, easy, oh, mate. Nice and he's easy. He's gonna kill me. No, he's not gonna kill you, Sam. You got me. All right, nice and easy, Lewis. All right, just, just, just copy now before I do something. You're fine, mate. Nice one. Well done. You made the right call, mate. Okay. You're gonna be all right. Uh, Todson got signal 100 on radio. Uh. So. Okay. Right, you Bye gonna mate. walk out or am I gonna have to take you, mate? This is, uh, 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 Come on. You've done, the right, you've done the right thing so far. Let's, get, let's keep this street going. Let's just get, to, let's just get you to my car. Right. You got anything I need to know about? No, just, any, any other weapons, drugs, or anything like that on your tool belt? Just, no, no, just take my tool belt off. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay, you're all good, mate. I can't, you know. Stand by, Sam. Mate, we're committed to this at the minute, mate. Right. Let's get you, let's get you in the, uh, let's get you in the... Car, mate. Hang on. There you go. Right. That's one time you are under arrest, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be presented to you by the state of San Andreas or provided to you. Do you understand your rights as I've read them to you? Yes. Okay. And with these rights in mind, are you happy to talk to myself and my colleagues still? Yes. Okay. Good stuff. I just said Tyler, Lewis, we'll be with you shortly, okay? Is it is it is he okay? Uh I don't know at the minute. Okay. I I can't I can't ascertain that, but it's obviously quite serious what's happened, but you know, we we should, we'll be able to get you the help we need. Or that you need rather, okay? So don't okay. just worry about yourself for the time being, okay. Alright. Sorry Sam, what are you saying? I was asking if you want me to get medical down here for evaluation. Uh, no, you, you can, uh, if you can ask him to meet us at Rockford PD, um, I'll take him there. Okay, yeah, will do. Alright, appreciate it, mate. I'm going to get him transported now. 
Yeah, all good. Fine. Fine. Can you meet Charlie One or Rock? Because he needs one time to pump mental health. Do me a favour, can you just um... I'm currently committed on the uh, shot cycle, want to confirm no bodies, uh, I'll round. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, um, can you just uh, obviously wrap up here, crime scene and everything like that. Get the EPS CSI down here and we'll uh, start a fresh investigation. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, mate. After that I might go, um, hmm? buffalo hunting. After yep. that I might go <laughs> buffalo hunting. <laughs> nice. We can have some fun. Alright, mate. Based on his calls, am I good to pull out a challenge unit for that as well? He was requesting um, one during it. Yeah, I can do if you need to, mate. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Alright, right, mate, we're gonna get you to Rock for PD. We're gonna get someone to assess you mentally. Um, once we can get you. Once we can get a professional assessment on you, um, we can start, obviously, the whole process of charges and everything like that in regards to claiming mental capacity, okay? Okay. Alright. Alright, I will remind you that you are obviously under caution for um, the arrest circumstances, but if you want, you can, uh, if you want to tell me what actually has happened, and you can. Uh. It's fine if you want to lawyer up, mate. I've not got an issue with that either, but I just no, figured I'd give you the opportunity now, because... Doesn't, cause doesn't it, change it, does it? Not really, mate. Um, mm. Obviously, it is a situation. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, we got there, and, you know, he's, you know, as people used to call him, just a useless twat. Okay. You know, he stands around, does nothing. We got there and, you know, I asked him to get the tools off the van while I got him measured up everything and he was just blanking me the whole time on his phone. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he didn't even leave the van and I dragged him out of the van and, you know, dragged him inside, was, you know, holding his head looking against the wall and then I grabbed my hammer and, you know, smashed his, smashed his face. Okay. Well, so did he actually see it coming or...? Did you hit him at the back of the head? You see, yeah, because, you know, I was confronting him and, you know, uh -huh. at first he was kind of just like, I'm, you know, nice, I wouldn't say nice, but, you know, just trying to threaten him, but, you know, it turned into something much worse and I couldn't control it then, you know, he got closer and closer and he was, he was saying, you know, do, do it then. You know, you won't, and, you know, mm -hmm. the voice was telling me, you know, he's mocking me here. And, you know, I, I did. I, I, started, I started beating him. Okay. Um, quite repetitively. You know, I didn't I didn't stop. Right, okay. And, you know, I wish I did, but I didn't. Yeah, well, at least you called 911, mate, and called it in and everything like that. Right. Yeah, the, the voice is, you know, he was telling me to plaster over it. And you know, just forget about it, bed, but I couldn't do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, sit tight and I'll uh, get this sorted. Charlie 125549, go ahead. What? What's your about? 7229 Rockford PD. I've got 11015 pending a uh, psyche valve, please. Uh, not currently, just about to transform into one now. Alright, let's get you out of, the, out of the car. Okay. Oh, hello. Alright, follow me. Yep. Yeah. Alright. So are you, are you um, known to be schizophrenic or anything like that? Just this way, mate. No. Yeah, after you, mate. Have you got any sort of schizophrenia in the family or anything like that, Lewis? No, no not it really. really. It's just, you know, you know at first it was ever since a child and, you know, he's always been in my head and, you know, we used to, we used to get along and, you know, we used to have a laugh and, you know, he was like, you know, your imaginary friend as a child. Okay. And then, you know, as I've got older, he started putting these thoughts in my head. 
Just come this just come this way, Lewis, because we just got to get you booked in, mate. I need to figure out where the bloody hell the mugshot... Yeah, here we go. Alright, just go ahead stand and stand down there for me, mate. Look at the camera for me. Okay, and turn to face your left, please. My right. Okay, uh, no, other way, mate. We're just uh, processing right now. There you go. Happy days. All right, come this way, mate. Sounds good. Sorry, mate, not in here. I'm just putting the camera back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's... Come over here, Lewis. Get you in this cell. Right, um... Would you like, like to do the Psyche Val here or in the cell? Uh, I'll do it in the cell. Thanks yeah. Room. Okay. Alright, Lewis, take a, seat on the, take a seat on the bed for me. And these lads are going to do a Psyche Val for you. Uh, just for their protection, I'm obviously, obviously going to remain here as well. Just for the uh, psyche vel, mate, you will remain in coughs, okay? Oh. Okay, bud. Uh, my name is Five High of Liam Stevens. Uh, to my right is going to be Medic Gomez. Okay. Right. Uh. Pretty short, Guys, mate. I'm sorry. Have you got any uh, mental health problems? Um, not like on on record. You know, I've never, you know, been, you know, been public about it. But you know, I have had therapy lessons just because I did have some problems, um, with with family and all that. And I, you know, I did try and bring it up, um, but I just I couldn't. Okay. So. Uh... Tell me a bit about that. What was your therapy about? It was just, it was more of just, you know, something a bit like depression, but it wasn't declared as depression. You know, I was just struggling with, you know, um, how I was acting and, you know, struggling to just, you know, do my job and all that. And, you know, just life in general. Um, I couldn't really function that well. Okay. Um, how was it you were acting? It was just just by doing you know just doing nothing and then you know I, I wasn't really public about it but you know it was you know the voices in my head were telling me you know don't don't do anything you know because everything is my fault and i do everything and then, you know i was trying you know, to, to keep out the way of of things and you know it, it made it really hard so i thought i would try therapy and you know see if i can block him out but by not telling people about him okay when was the last time you heard these voices today they told me to uh, hit him with, with the hammer multiple times you know they were telling me that he was mocking me and everything and you know he were going to do horrible things to me mm. And other than today, what's the voice normally say? They're just, you know, just saying that if I see something happening, um, like a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, I come across a car accident, and you know the voice got so severe, I thought that I was the cause. So he just, you know, he just tries to make me feel bad for myself when I've not, you know, when I know I've not done stuff, but you know, he gets the best of me sometimes. You no, know, because he just he keeps on keeping on going, and you know, I, I struggle to block him out. And today, I just couldn't. Okay. What's your name again, man? Uh, Lewis, Lewis Ham. So, Lewis, have you have you had thoughts to hurt other people before? It's, uh, no, not as extent to this, you know, like just your, you know, your order. If somebody's being, you know, horrible to you, you know, you you just want to punch them, don't you? But 
you know, that's that's mainly been it. Never this severe when, you know, I've been told to, you know, actually physically, you know, try and, try and kill someone. Okay, what about yourself? Does the voice ever tell you to hurt yourself? No, you know, sometimes it seems that that's not its goal. He kind of just wants to make me feel as if I'm useless most of the time. And is it always the same voice? It's, it's hard to tell, really, as I've grown up, but it, it seems to be, yeah. Uh... I believe I saw one up near Pillbox, the latest NPR has the innocence and Elgin. You know, sometimes he makes me feel as if he's taking control of my body. you could be seeing that as well. Do you ever have sort of phase where you find there's just gaps in your Two, one, I want to be in front of you. All, all, all the time. Um, you know, it's it's quite a struggle, really, because, um, like like today, you know, it was, you know, as soon as the police arrived, you know, I couldn't really remember much. And then as soon as they started asking me questions, I started, you know, remembering everything. And, you know, he got to me and I tried. I tried lying because you were telling me to, you know, not tell them because I tried to keep it a secret that I, you know, that I called, um, and you know, it, it was it was very hard because he was he was getting, you know, pecking really, and you know, it got to the point where I was also threatening the officers because, you know, he was he got that bad, and he said that they were gonna they were gonna kill me because I killed, you know, I killed someone else. So, Lewis, I, I need to ask this, and it may sound that, but you're not just saying all this to get an insanity play, are you? No, I promise. I would never do something like this. Um, Panic Unit 121 Forum DR. Incoming 911. Can I verify the panic button, please? Charlie, one, two, one, twenty-one. Charlie, one, have I got any units towards Forum Drive, please? Also, I'm just looking at checking on the amount, stand by. Right, lads, are you comfortable to stay in there with them, or...? Yeah, I was going to say, if you step out with me, we'll... Tack, man, be advised, my charger has a bullet hole in it. Be advised, possible armed subject in the area. 18L12, Nick S. Dot. Yes, LSPD joined your channel. Your transport is not an ambulance, are you a paddy wagon? Uh, I'm going to start routing school before one of your colleagues gets shot. Yeah, please, mate. I'll come with you. Alright. Lewis, I'm afraid we're going to have to cut this short, mate, because the sergeant will be with you to process you, but we've had an incident go down involving one of my troops, so I'm going to have to uh, leave it here for now. We will get this um, sorted at a later date for court, though, okay? Oh, yeah, so... All right. Just go ahead, face is, the bunk is, for a sec. This this the end of it, yeah? Just yeah, for now. Sure? Okay. Alright. Hang on. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get back. Get back in your cell. Alright. Uh, where is he? Oh, yeah. The original Buffalo case, the local party had a LSPD warrant. Alright, I'm going to back my direct being tacky, man. God damn it. Hunter, I sight.
Charlie 1, I'm on route to this instant. Can I get a separate place? Track command, someone just shot at us, close range. Received, any eyes on the shooter? Negative, ran off while I was getting my bearing. Where did you shoot from? Directly in front of us, from the all black uh, suspect. Cuff, is it northeast, south, or west, Frost? Be advised, that command is established inside Grove for the shot fired 911 that we got. We're, I'm currently trying to investigate what's going on. It's going to be 9101. Dispatch Predic 31 is back 10A. I'll be en route to forum drive for the panic button. All medic units in the area, just be advised, we do have active shots and actives, be careful. Fire one copy is break. Medic three wants you to go stage at uh, station five for your shots fired on Grove Street. So it will. Copy that. What's Sam's status? It's good. Head on with uh, suspect vehicle. Right, okay, I'm going to stay in the area to. Um, Try and locate the suspect that might. It's last seen in the forum drive area, so just focusing the search that side. Okay, did we catch a plate at all? He's on foot. Right, okay mate, no worries. What was the description? Okay, there. White male, LSPD SWAT uniform by the looks of it. Okay, okay mate, no worries. Thank you for that. It's going to be at 9101, I'll be searching. Charlie 1, be advised, uh, looks like these shooters possibly going to be in an all-black LSPD SWAT uniform, uh, possible a pl uh, possibly a police impersonator, just to approach with extreme caution, also verify any personnel contacts you have with LSPD, please. That's for a key copy. Charlie 1 to all units for personnel challenge, you're going to have a knock number of 20. So if you shout 10, they should shout 10 back. If you shout 15, they shout 5 back, etc. Three, five, four. We have a location on the victim, or the, not the victim, the suspect. Suspect was last seen in the Grove Street area. That's all we've got at the moment. I'll be out on form drive with medical. Received. Be advised the suspect did flee on foot, so uh, just keep eyes and ears out, please. And we'll stay with Frost. Be prepared for security. Be advised, I've heard Fort Explorer behind me. away. Wonder, one what are you driving? Batman scale, that'll be me. Here, thank you, Scott. I'm gonna have to come up. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. They're still following up. Oh, there you go, Jason, please. I just turned in front of Davis Station, I'm about to pull in. Frost, that's me, I'm in the Vapid Scout, mate. Oh, you didn't identify me. Apologies. I would have thought the blue lights would have given that away. Medic 3 arriving at Station 5. I would have thought the blue lights would have given it away, Frost. He's in a he's in a buffalo with blue lights. Oh, you... oh here we go. go, 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 go. Shit. Could be a land stalker. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, do you want me to go? Did we get a plate? Yeah, 20 of it. Yeah. Last scene, eastbound Carson Avenue. 9114. Coming on me, split. Suspect on foot, heading to on the drum system. 79, I'm behind you. Guys, let me get a 20, please. Let's 
Charlie 1, Postal 9115. Fuck you, man. Rolling in. I'm with you, mate. Medic 3 1, rolling in. I got your far right. Who's behind you guys? This is the Blanco Sheriff's Office and the DPS. Throw the weapon away right now! Show us your hands! Let's keep moving up. Can we all see the weapon? Hold up. Negative. Okay. Guys on the weapon first. Make sure it's not in his hands. Right, okay. Hudson, check for weapons. Who have I got on my right? Fire 9, Medic 3 1, best access via Bruges Avenue. There's a rifle there. Right, who have I got Who have I got on my right, please, guys? Alright, people, we're gonna. There is me and Fulton. Okay. SRT gear. Alright. Someone running up behind you. That's, that's EMS Heart, that's all good. Right. EMS, hold back for now, weapon is not secured. Right, SRT, uh, let's get you on the arrest, please. Myself and Hudson will cover for now. 1812, you're five by five, but quiet. Alright, we'll go maybe. Yep. Switch in. Five by five. Copper, all the top, what's happening? Yeah, Hudson, yeah, switch left for a bit. And I hold some move left. Yeah, just keep keep moving around left. All right, just hold there. Got a pistol. All right, happy. No, there's not good there. Got the fucking kills. Need for me to go hands on, James. Uh, oh, let's oh. give us two seconds. Let's get the rifle picked up and then go for it. Start, uh, rescue company this direction for vehicle splits over. Call me secure rifle, please. Charlie one for the log, weapons secure, EMS have moved in on this suspect. Where's Frost at? He's uh, got the he's other suspect. Gone to MR, he's gone to MRPD. Roger. He sent me to come help you guys. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's on his own now though. Alright. Alright, Tommy, are you alright with this scene? Hudson and I are going to clear yeah. up whatever's gone on up there, mate. I was just catching a ride with Wolf back to the station and grab another vehicle. Alright. As spot. Camaro is now missing a tyre. Oh, fucking my hell. Engine, and my charger's engine has been fucked over. <laughs> Brilliant. Um. Alright. Just uh, keep tab keep in touch with us if when needed, Tommy. Yeah. Alright, dude. Do you need any help? Jesus Christ. I got the shin guards. Yeah. I was gonna say, I took a right tumble, almost fell off the, uh... I basically... Came from that, uh... Fell down from the top of the ledge there. Almost fucking face-planted the floor. Um... I couldn't see a second person in the car, but we haven't secured it yet. Well... Yeah, we would have known by now, mate. I never know. People go to hiding. I'm not seeing anyone else in, in it from here, mate. No, I, I think it's a stolen car anyway. Okay. Because in the STX is still where we crashed into 121. Oh, right, this, okay. This reminds me, you need to go check that over to see if it's not actually one of your cars that have been replated. Yeah, I will do that. Hmm. Hmm. Holy Didn't make crap. it that far, then. No. You see where that locksmith is? Yeah. That's where he shot me and Tommy and disabled our cars. Oh my... Probably overshot the turn. made it this far, that was it. <laughs> yeah, probably overshot the turn. Jesus Christ. Okay. 
Um, do you want to fight? Uh, can do. Left my fucking. Yeah, let me get my car up here first. We'll get yeah. the scene secured. Why are y'all still working? Can I get another yeah, right. tow out to Form Drive 9085 for one times bravado, uh, white in color for DPS 8 skip? Papa Charlie, one, two, three, five, four, receiving. Go for it. Laura, can you just tell me if, um, can you just verify the VIN on that, please, and just check if it comes back to a DPS vehicle at all, possibly? 10 4 will do. Copy, thank you. 479, following up on that. Head down to Grove Street. There's a black charge. If I need that, then check it, please. If the BTS, okay. Yeah. Okay. Papa Charlie, 12418 receiving. Tango Charlie 1 6, I'm relay to 418. Roger, uh, Roger Tommy, can you just tell me if uh, the keys have been left in our car, please? Yeah, they have. Uh, should be. 418 is stating it should be. X ray 1, at the earliest convenience. And a unit that has more information on what's going on with this situation and what they would like to do with the secondary mail, come to MRPD, please. What's on that one? Did you find out where they got a BTS-8? I'm about to find that out now. I'm about to ring up a, a film company that they're working for really quick, and I'm about to find out what's going on. 354-101. Stand by. Uh, Papa Charlie, one, two, four, sixteen. Just obviously let Wolf know, please. I've moved her charger um, up onto Carson Avenue, parked in a safe location now. Road's going to be reopened. <laughs> Papa Charlie, one, two, three, five, four. Go ahead. Be advised, it's not belonging to your guys. It's just a bravado that's been fitted with loose. That's received, thank you. That's good, man. Wish Frost would learn RTO etiquette. <laughs> Alright, right. ready for the play? Stand by. Medic 3 to fire 1, am I needed anyway? Yeah, go ahead. 8 zero. Medic 3. Yeah. Hotel Lima Victor. Yep. 6 2 0. Yeah, it's not coming back. Copy that. Oh, he's still on local, Kevin. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it will be. Thirty-two. Also, go to station five. Jump on rescue five at forty-nine. Seven four. Also nine five one. Fire. Be advised, both myself and the BCSO Camaro got disabled just before the chase died. Can we get to one of your guys just check them over and make sure they're not on the satellite? Serve well, thank you. So I need to figure out where the hell this guy got an LSPD SWAT uniform and where the hell the other guy got a BCSO Corporal uniform. Yeah. Give me a sec, I need to, um, I'm gonna need to catch up with Briggs on that because I've got an arrest report. Actually, no, I need to catch up with Gomez as well, but yeah. Up, Charlie, one to fire one. Fire one. Um, Briggs, you able to tell me the hospital where, uh, Sam got transported to, please? I tried to tell me about that, didn't 10-4, are you still green? 10 four, been checked over, cut subscribe, so I'm going to be out with 354, no special 9085 again. 
Received. Stick with 354. Come pick you up shortly. Right. Damn, oh, thank you. I'm going to leave a report here to you, mate. I've got more Rescue pressing matters. Shows and route to the foot. Oh, oh shit. Uh, what's up? What's up? I think I tried 2 1 Charlie 1 direct. So this one knocked me down. Yikes. Give me one sec. Go ahead. We're clear here. If you let, let me know where you are, then. Uh, I need him to check the Buffalo down the at Grove Street if possible, please. Right, can you and Laura check the Buffalo down at Grove Street if you haven't already, please? Are they opening this road or. Time for work out. Oh my brain. Uh, it's it's the, uh, um, um, roads open. Do, just, do me a favour because the track the track's going to be shot. So if that you like roads it. open, yeah, yeah. But if you come along this track that myself yeah, and I'll Hudson, hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. if you just come along this track that Hudson and I are stood on and just back it up um, towards the car for us, I'll guide yeah, you back. Yeah, can do. All right. So be advised that charger is not present on scene. Yeah, um, did you get ledge up there? Did it get towed? Not my knowledge. I was up there with a shield, and all of a sudden I just see them falling. Oh, shit! Medical Center, Trauma, 3. I thought it was like, is it a white vehicle, or is that actually a vehicle? What's going on, Stan? There you go. Uh, 49, get with fire unit 9. I don't think it was up here because I didn't never saw a white vehicle. Oh. Okay. Um, we're gonna get the Camaro mm. and Charger looked over as soon as it took a few rounds to make sure it's not leaking if you're. We have a drill, struts. I know <sighs> why the Camaro isn't. I mean, it's damaged, but there's no rounds or anything. Well, I rounds I was from it was from me. I don't know your name yet. You're gonna be on Scrooge for Stevens. Pop Charlie one three five four. Go for three five four. Kiki, can you uh, just verify with me what vehicle you arranged to have towed, please? Your Whoa. your department the uh, Mustang and the hmm. white. Uh, oh, okay, so the buffalo has been towed then. Hey, uh, hey, from Bucky, black and color charger has an, I believe the, uh, the heavens above uh, opened and took it away. Uh, Standby, are you able to uh, call me on the call me on uh, mobile? Standby, yes. Sir. Yeah, do that for me, Laura. Okay. Actually, I want just to confirm that the none, neither, none of our uh, Leo departments or fire departments have any paperwork to do with any films being filmed in the state today. Charlie, one negative. Yeah. Also, that negative. Hello. Oh, no, negative. Uh, we might get an answer for fire. Oh, right. Right. You there? Yeah. Okay, right, real quick, Laura. Run me through exactly what vehicles have been involved in the shooting, and then what vehicles have been towed, and if there are any outstanding vehicles that need to be towed, because I'm getting very confused here at the minute. So, the white bravado uh, charger thing that hit 121, yeah. And 121's car has been towed. Right, okay. And then, I believe the, uh, the aliens took the black charger. Okay, uh, did we get a plate on the black charger at all? Uh, I believe, uh, Sergeant Frost has it. Right. Or at least he did. He looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, give me one sec. Thank you for here. Why, is he on site with you? Is Frost here? Frost, 
here. Alright, never mind. Alright. Right, uh. Sit tight, G, I'll call you back. Alright. Um, did you get a plate on the black charger that was involved in the pursuit, or this shots fired or whatever? Because I'm, I'm yet to be caught up on the Laura scene in the hole. I think. No, apparently the aliens got it. Okay, well the yeah. aliens got it then. Yeah, but you didn't catch a plate on it, did you? Are you? Sorry, I. You didn't happen to catch a plate on it by any chance, did you? I have the plate already. It's ran. It's registered to the guy I got here in holding. Oh, okay, so that, alright, so that, in terms of that, that's all good then, that's all covered. We don't know what colour the lights were though. Or right. what the VIN was. Right, okay, no worries. Um, Is 354 uh, there with you? No, she's, she's somewhere catching up on this scene. But yeah, it's, it's all oh, okay. going, Because I did, I did hail over the radio minute. for them, but, you know. They, oh, right. they were on the phone to me at the time. I'm trying to... The radio's going hectic with fire ops, so I'm trying to... I'm trying to... I can't hear you, mate. I said, um, the radio's going red hot with fire ops, so I'm trying to ascertain details over land or over mobile. Okay, I'll do. I'll try and do the same then. Yeah. Um, who are you going to be contacting, Laura? Yes. Alright, um, I'll let you, Laura, take the lead on this, and then I'll... Well, I'll I don't even I know to. what the fuck is going on. Yeah, neither With do I. Guy. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure it out myself. I'm um, just trying to f clear up the this guy because he's throwing a hissy fit for being in holding for the same shit that you guys trapped him up on the last time. Okay, who do you know the name? Who's the name? Or what's the name of the person you got in holding? Uh, Jared Mingo, J R E D M I N G O. Never heard of it before. Apparently, he's dealt with someone before in relation to this whole actor gig, and he's apparently he's had more multiple run-ins. And Thomas has run into him, so I don't know what the fuck is going on. All right, that is interesting. Okay. It says he's he says he's an actor, but yet on his on his system in his on his profile in our system, he's not marked down for any occupation. Right. Interesting. Okay, that might be something to push to him then. Um, I don't know. Okay. I'm just gonna get Laura and try and figure out what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I've got with... Sam here. I've got Sam here with me, so I'll get his side of events and hopefully we can go from there. Because Laura's gonna be the person that's got the scene for, or she's gonna know events from the time Sam got shot to this pursuit going on. Because when I was following you and Wolf, I'm like, what the fuck is Frost? saying that there's a vehicle following he doesn't see me and then re i obviously when i got to lsst i realized you didn't realize it was me and you thought it was the impersonator no. yeah because they were <laughs> driving a buffalo god knows what they had what, what else they had you know yeah quite okay mate well as long, as long as that bit's straight for the time being um yeah i'm gonna try and get laura to confirm if they got paperwork on what's going on or whatever yeah roger okay mate no worries yeah. Keep me uh, keep me informed, please, and uh, we'll go from there. You're breaking up, big. I said, keep me informed. Oh yeah, that's fine. Just yeah. I'm just letting you know you do tend to break up over the phone every night. I don't know if it's where you are. Yeah, it's probably cell reception or some bullshit like that. <clears throat> probably. If you need me directly and I you can't get a hold of me, I'm at MRPD. Okay, mate. No worries. Thank you, Frost. Yep. Yeah. You have got a, you have got a natural talent for being a shit magnet. You know that. Hey, it's always interesting. At least. For fuck's right, your account. What happened? Okay, so basically, I've come north off onto forum, and basically, yeah. what's happened is you know that alleyway, the first one left. Vaguely. Right, can I turn my radio off and have you? Yeah. Listen for anyone calling me, just because yeah, I can't hear fine. myself think. Yeah. Thank you. Um, basically, first alleyway on the left. Basically, <laughs> I've gone. Last area we've seen him is here. He's gone northwest, and that's roughly Forum. Mm -hmm. So I've driven up Forum and slow rolled past the alleyway on looked right, and then looked left just in time 
to see the car, mm -hmm. reach for my radio to go call it out, and as I do, I see it, I see him like floor it, come flying out. So instant reaction is foot flat on the floor. Car's jumped forwards and he's hit the rear left quarter of the car, spun right. it pretty much 360, which has taken the force out of the hit. Right. If, if I'd stayed where I was, I'd been <clears throat> fucked because he, he'd have hit okay. me square in the side. Yeah. But he's hit his front left corner against my rear left corner and spun my car. Right, okay. So I've then. The radio's gone flying in that, which is why I wasn't calling back out to you. The only thing I could reach is the panic button, because I reached right. for the one in the car. So I reached for the microphone, it's gone flying when he's hit me. Right, okay. Why the fuck? Oh, what the fuck's happening over there? Ow. Um, one of the cars set a building on fire by the looks of it. I swear to Christ. Yeah. Um. But then as I. Another I've... day in Davis. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Yeah. I don't know if he's not been wearing a seatbelt or something, but I've been caught in the seatbelt. So I've. I've taken that off and I've had to pull myself out the car. So I've got a couple of scratches from broken glass and stuff, but that's about yeah. all I got. Right, so you didn't get a shot or anything? Uh, no, no, no. It was just he floored okay. it coming out of the alleyway into my car, and all I could reach was the panic button. Right, okay. He basically got out, ran down the alleyway. Tommy pulled up right next to me, saw me pulling myself out of the car. At this point, he's run out the alleyway behind you. And yeah. he's pointed at the one the dude's come out, which is the one in front of him. I'm like, bro. Yeah. But no. So, dude's run down there, <laughs> shot back at them, and then gone off to do whatever while well, I got checked out by medical. Out. Okay. Right, I'm gonna see what the fuck's going on there, because that doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. I'm gonna turn my radio back on. Yeah. Right. Do you need I'm me gonna... to do anything, or? Uh, hang around for now. Hudson might need you for vehicle recovery, but... In fact, I think that's him over there, to be honest. Let's go over there, see what they need us to do. Okay. Do you want me to move the car? No, no, keep it there for now. Okay. Oh, shit show as it is. Oh shit, there's a car in here. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. I've got so many things that have happened at the minute. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, I can grab our tow truck. It still hasn't been liveried yet. No, um, don't worry metro, about it. But I can grab it if we need it. No, don't worry about it for now. <laughs> hey, what the hell happened? Well, and you were still hot. You all got involved. You had a beam, but a boom. Laura was feeling all over me, and next thing you know, fire. I swear to God. Welcome to no context. <laughs> That's what this whole scene has been for me. I'm... Imagine me and me. I'm just sitting at home hearing a bunch of sirens, and then I'm like, huh, I'm being nosy. Right. What can I do? And then I remembered I was a staff sergeant, so I had my radio, so I turned it on. And all I hear is Hudson screaming for a challenger unit, and I'm like, well, hey, one's in my front yard. <sighs> Fuck's sakes. And now it's got oh, no wheels. Was. Um, Hudson, I need to catch up on details. Where the... From start to finish, you're the one that knows most info at the minute. I've got the pike bull and the howitzer bar ready to try to... I don't have a radio off, hold on. Yeah, tell me about that. Alright, come with me. Help me. Alright, <clears throat> from start to finish, what's your account of what's happened? Alright, so we had this. Well, I noticed the cars from earlier because literally, as I got it up to Sandy SO, just to sort of a couple of things out. I saw those two cars up there, the Charger and the Buffalo. Yeah. Hence why I radioed across to you, wondering if you had actually any active units. Mm hmm. But they drove off. I didn't have a chance to get this place, so I thought nothing else of it. Right. It wasn't until the shots fired call came in down here when we pulled up and realised, oh, really, that's the exact same car that was up in the county and they're wearing police uniforms. Right, okay. One tries to drive off, which is the STX. I stop him around the corner. As I'm checking the details of the vehicle, he then takes off. Yeah. That, that pursuit ensues, and then uh, basically Frost handled the other one who was uh, wearing a BTSO uniform. Right. Interesting. Then, well, you know the rest. Yeah. Um, one thing I will say, like, because, well, I don't know the rest, that's the issue. So far, all I've got is Sam's been head on. Okay, so, right. yeah, so Sam. So, hold on. 
What I've got so far, Sam got head on at, over at Forum Drive. Suspect fled on foot into Grove. Uh, he was wearing an LAPD SWAT uniform. Um, at one point, he's then stolen a Landstalker here and then tried to make off, at which point, well, we didn't get very far, obviously. Um, but yeah, it, it's all a bit of a shit show, to be quite honest with you, and I'm completely like wondering where the hell it's gone wrong. Well, we're trying to figure out, right, so what happened, well, what went, I'll say, well, it didn't even go wrong, really, it's just what caused the chaos, is that this guy kept popping in and out, in and out of areas. Right, so right. he'll pop off a couple of shots and then go into hiding. Now, because mm. of the uniform he's wearing, he blends in pretty well. Yeah, naturally. So, because of all that, it didn't literally... Me and Tommy didn't even realise he was in the vehicle until mm -hmm. I pulled alongside of said vehicle. Yeah. Literally, I saw a broken glass, pulled alongside, and then that's when I saw eyes looking at me. Right, okay. Then a gun. Right, is it... Just, if, do we know if it's just one person that's involved or is there multiple people? Because I'm getting multiple We've... vehicles basically involved in this as so it's one gathering. It's two. Okay. It started off with two. Obviously, <laughs> that vehicle behind us is the one that got stolen by a It started off with a Buffalo FTX with blue lights and a Dodge Charger. And they got back up and we downed them again. Right, so what? Hang on, sorry. My head is a mess. One's the Dodge Charger in mm. white, and what's the other one? No, black. Right, okay, so one's a black Dodge Charger. What's the other one? A white STX. Buffalo. Yes. Okay, do we have plates for both? I've got plates for the STX still. I believe okay. Laura has the, but the plates to the Charger. Right, yeah, Frost has said he also, he's also possibly got uh, plates for the black Dodge Charger, because the black Dodge Charger is the one that's outstanding. Apparently, according to Laura, the aliens took it, so, yeah. Um, in oh. relation to that, yeah. <clears throat> no, wrong one. F10, that? mate. Let's pull this up real quick. So, vehicle was... Well, it came back to an Aurora Diamond out of Polito Bay. Which vehicle was that? The STX. Right, give me one sec. I've still got that arrest report to do that ment uh, the mental capacity. I still need to catch up with Frost to see whether... Yeah, I don't even know where half the people Gangs. are. Medical concern. OSB. Oh, yeah. Violent. Hey, Sam. Remember the, uh, the Warning, gangs, time. medical right, concern. So Aurora RFA, is an OSB, OSB anyways. <clears throat> huh? Aurora's got an OSB on her anyways. Yeah, Officer safety well, bulletin. Frost, gangs, uh, medical concern, registered firearms good. owner, and violent. Well, that's the person who got shot by us. Just, just now. Okay. Nobody... What was the... Yeah. Yeah, right, okay, hang on, I'm getting... Oh, that's yeah. not helping me. Gomez is trying to talk to me. What? She's got. Yeah, Hang on. The white Chevy's yours. Yes. It ain't gonna buff out, and it ain't ever gonna run again. Well, I could have told you that. Yeah. <laughs> For fuck's sakes! Right, she's got two vehicles. Two. Right, she's got two ice white Bravado Buffalo STXs. One plate ending in 679, the other ending in 680. They're both the exact same plate, though. In uh, Mine's 680. Right, okay. Okay. Howdy. I've got good news and I've got bad news. Hit me with it. The good news is your cruiser is clean, but bad news is it's a bit crispy. Did the donuts at least survive? Please tell me that. No, the whole thing went up in flames and nearly took my house. No. Okay, Whoever 416 is, I still don't know. Absolutely obliterated the engine block of these. 416 is Tommy. Oh, it's Tommy, yeah. Oh, nice. Well, he did get shot at directly at very close range, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, I mean, I may have just broke his engine for the sake of making sure it doesn't catch on fire like the other I'll try to. Well, thanks for getting here so quick, anyway. There is, um. 
the bouncing the vehicle, it's stable enough that recovery should be able to sort out themselves. Yeah. Um, yeah. Same with the other two vehicles, they should be safe enough to be transported by um, uh, the guys when they got to that too. Uh, we're going to finish our salvage Same one you and then we'll get out of here. Hello, thank you very much. Oh. Big corporal. Uh, engine block Oh, you right. Shit. Do you need me to write the... Well, it, for us, here's the thing, right? Uh, Jesus Christ. We don't have a car. Because this car got completely destroyed because he was in a Mustang. Uh, let me talk to Will and see what I... I, I yeah. I don't know why, oh, why is everyone talking to me about shit? Anywho, so... Yeah, so that's what happened. Yeah, I got you. This, this has got a shit show from start to yeah. beginning. What kicked it all off is a simple fact that apparently there was a... What kicked it all off was my a... shit magnet of a DPS corporal. Hmm. Well, what kicked it all off is <laughs> apparently people filming with no permit. Uh, I hate to interrupt, but um, speaking of the people filming with no permit, as I most likely know exactly who you're talking about, supposedly they work for Paramount. Well, and that is that's... coming from Frost that just called me. Where's Frost? Yeah. Oh, Ross is at MRPD. Okay. Oh, I better go handle that suspect. I got Wolf over. I need someone to head over to help Wolf out with the Ocean View one. Don't look at me, I'm Meanwhile. still trying to figure out what the fuck has exactly gone on down here. Yep. Don't look, at, you don't know? look at either of the two of us, neither of us have a car. I... So, basically, what's going on here is, I don't even know what's going on here. All I know is one person's in Oceanside. Uh, 14 Charger kinda is charcoal now. The 14 Charcoal. Yeah. Right, 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 wait, then wait, you wait. got the Camaro, which, I don't even know what happened to that. All I know is Gomez didn't sound super enthusiastic while telling me, so I'm thinking that's for the worst. I have an idea. We can play uh, musical cars. His Mustang's just uh, destroyed. Well, right. the issue is, there's only one car here what's running. Why right. don't... Okay. Well, well, everyone, right. shut up for a sec. Sam, you're going to be dealing with the two vehicles here. I want you getting those two towed. Tommy, come with me. I'll get you a car at LSSD. Hudson, do you need a vehicle as well? Just drop me off at MRPD. I, well, I'm... You, you're going to need to get a lift with Tommy then, because I'm going to come back for Sam. Yeah, that was. Alright, let's do that. Wait, which that's two nice. vehicles do you want recovered? Do you want the overturn one recovered, or the No, no, BCSO, oh, BCSO, BCSO for problem. now. Deal with BCSO, okay. and then, um, in fact, actually, what do you want done about that overturned car? Because that's stolen local, so it's not really of much relevance if it's only come from here to the... Just get it taken to the Davis impound. Okay. Someone cool. will find it eventually. Yeah, Sam, if you can deal, if you can deal with that local car as well, then please, that'd be appreciated. Okay. All right, I'll That's be back good. shortly. Stand back. <sighs> Absolute fucking mess. Yeah. I feel sorry for whoever's dealing with the instant report on this. I still can't believe on how well that person blended in. I know. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah, like. I seen you turning, so I was just like, oh, did he somehow manage to find a local, yeah. Next thing you know, well, I'm like, nope, that's Uzi. What pulled my attention to that car was a smash driver window. So I wow. pulled up to it thinking maybe, you know, it was related to check the plate. And then I saw the gun pointing at me, like, oh, shit. Today? No. no, it's getting a renovation to it. Yeah. This will lift. I'll give you two stars. Sure. Alright, in a bit, lads. I'll give you 63 out of two. Yep. Bet.
So you can get firearms out, and the, uh, it's never being a car with it. Oh, it's not a Max Ray, one for something. Just to confirm, you did not approve the movie company to be using the current that outfit that that guy was wearing. Off that vehicle as well. Hold on. Yeah, that's not going to work. Go have Provi jump and rescue with you. Go back to Station 5, park it, grab Medic 3, bring it up to Ocean with the... Uh, Gomez and myself. I'll be Sounds good. What code do you want us? Good code one, is fine. Sounds good. Just have them be oh yeah, you're all good. The tap line's back. We also need to get those sta get our stabil stabilizers back as well. Yeah, good yes, stabilizer. I actually changed that. Um, take rescue five. Back to station five. Take. Medic 3 back to station 3 and then we'll meet you at station 3 and we'll uh, reset from there. Sounds good. Alright, yep. Alright, meet you guys at 3. Right, see you though. You can work, lads. Alright, let's. Thank you. What's right, up? Uh, real quick, just to get your account. What's, uh, what's the crack with the fire side of things here, Briggs? Because we've got an absolute shit show on the LEO side of things that I'm trying to deal with. Well, to be honest with you, you want to talk to the guy that was in the pickup truck. He was the HMFIC here. Who's the guy in the pickup truck? Gomez. Lieutenant Gomez. Okay, cool. Thank you. Where, wait, where is Gomez? Uh, he cleared the scene already. Motherfucking! <laughs> Did you? They're very efficient with this towing business. Apparently. Alright, I expect all three I expect all three uh, vehicle recovery forms. Those vehicles, by the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good stuff. Alright, uh, liaise with Rescue 5 for that other vehicle, Sam, and then uh, yeah. meet me back here. I hope you I hope you know vehicle vehicle recovery forms for Leo vehicles are a nightmare because you can't auto fill any of the information. And you yeah, have to like actually, make yeah, that's up. the point. Yeah. Well, at least it's easy. Also, to the local out, one like... has no information. <laughs> uh, the local car does not exist in the system. Uh, that's a good point. Don't worry about the VR one for the local vehicle then. Okay. Just do the LEO vehicles, please. Great. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Mate, I've still got an arrest report outstanding I need to do. I don't know, I'm nowhere near done with my paperwork, even though in briefing we've said about having to fucking keep on top of our paperwork. I feel like such a dick. Yep. Ah, There's right. your man. Happy days. Hey, Gomez. You should right. give, him a, give him a hand. He got his first, uh, he got to pop his cherry tonight. Yeah, happy days. Um, right. They're so efficient, they already <sighs> took it. Okay, cool. Right, Gomez, real quick. What was, what was the situation from the far side of things? Because on the LEO side of things, it's an absolute shit show. Went well. Yeah, what, what happened? Because all I saw was flames issuing, and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on across the street? Um, so we prioritised the company's upside down for obvious reasons. Um, Say that again, sorry. So we prioritised the... Oh, shut up, Stevens. Um, hang on. Turn this off a second. Adam, let me know. I'll need it. Mm -hmm. Got it, mate. So, obviously, we prioritised the overturn vehicle for obvious reasons. It's fucking upside down on tram tracks. Hey, um, uh, oh yeah, that one on the... Yep, yeah, okay. Yep. Matt pointed out that these two vehicles were also disabled. He just wanted you to make them safe because obviously shot at and crashed. Yeah. Um. So we came over to assess those. Noticed smoke coming from the uh, grill of the Dodge. Um. To go right, get an engine down here to put water all over it. Mm -hmm. Um. Before the engine could arrive, it just sort of went up and started okay. threatening the house. Ah uh, right. Okay. <laughs> Right, yeah, no, that's definitely not good. Um, and then... fuel line and a spark. Okay, do you know the situation regarding the Camaro, or was the Camaro a different story for you guys? Uh, Camaro was just crashed out, it's fine. Uh, I've ripped the bonnet off, and uh, may or may not have used the jaws of life to break it. Why? Um, and then disconnected the battery. Oh. <laughs> All that for... Okay. <laughs> well, Hudson's going to be thrilled about that. It, it was really <laughs> jammed up. 
No, that's fine. Okay. No, appreciate that, guys. Um, it wasn't just me wanting to break something. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, right, that's fine on the far side of things then. I've just got so much work to do on the... Uh, I've got so much work to do on the uh, LEO side of things for this. Appreciate your time, gents. Thank you. Alright. Say again, sorry. Yeah, give me the number for it, please, mate. Yes. That was hot. Okay. Alright, one sec. Nothing on, bro. Perfect, thank you. Okay, what about the uniforms? Does it actually say you can reach command member from the CD or FO? Oh, God, so much going on. Uh, I didn't ask about the uniform. Thank you. If you want to contact the LSP main office, you can find out you can. Oh, I'm going to get a mouth video. I'll find someone. Ten more. Right, I'm Charlie 1 to all units that have attended this incident. From the moment of the panic button activation on forum drive up until fire clearing i want everyone to do an incident report on this and email me with the incident report number once it's been filled out please thank you right. five, 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 nine, that's copy. a lot of incident reports it is i don't care 49 is for ilio only hey fam this gonna Papa Charlie 1 negative, I will need fire side of it as well. Papa Charlie 1 negative, I will need fire side of it as well, please, due to the BCSO vehicle fire involved. Fire 9101, that'll be complete, Papa Charlie. 10-4, thank you. 10-4, thank you. Apparently Nick's transmitting. Nick, even in, even on channel. No, nope, it has that issue sometimes. Uh, fuck's sake! All right, I'll deal with that in a minute. It happens when he go when he codes zeros whilst he's transmitting, because then when he yeah. turns back into back into existence, it locks the radio, so it effectively turns it off, but with his push to talk open. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah!